In the year 1827, the same year slavery was abolished in New York, was the year the Freedom Journal was established and it was the first ever African-American owned and operated newspaper in the United States of America. It was spread all across the world in the Canada, Haiti, and the United Kingdom for a cost of $3, and it was made by a Jamaican named John Brown Russwum and Samuel E. Cornish, who was born in Sussex County, Delaware. The Freedom Journal provided readers with national and regional information on current events. It opposed slavery and discussed current issues such as the American Colonization Society to resettle free blacks in Liberia, which also was a colony established for that purpose in West Africa. In the Freedom Journal, the pages also included improving education, health, and living conditions for the 300,000 free black women and men living in the northern states of the United States of America. And it was classified as a section about public schools, jobs, and affordable places to live. And there was also a social section that had information about birth and death and wedding announcements. But overall, the newspaper's focus was mainly about to end slavery in the South and to fight racial discrimination in the North. All of this was a way to encourage and improve the conditions for the 300,000 newly freed black people and even showed biographies of, re of renewed black people such as Paul Coffey, Tuisen L. Overture, and poet Phyllis Whitney. In conclusion, the Freedom Journal's purpose was to entertain and have better lives for the African Americans all across the United States of America. Thank you for watching this video. This is Russell Wivag, out.